Hi, this is Andy Teach, host of Andy's Awesome Adventures, and welcome to Venice, Italy. <laughs> We're about to take our mandatory gondola ride in Venice, Italy. All right, we are taking our canal ride, our gondola ride. So we're starting on the Grand Canal, and we're gonna do some smaller canals as well. It's about 9.30 in the morning. It was 80 euros total for two of us. In the nighttime, it is more expensive, probably 100 euros. A lot of times you'll share a ride. We would just happen to be lucky and get a private ride. It's about 40 minutes, no, 30 minutes. Ciao. Buongiorno, buongiorno. I think that's all the Italian I know. So they have one oar. And they wear black pants, striped shirt, and a hat is optional. <laughs> Here, long building uh, here on the right, it is the Palazzo delle Fabbriche Nove, designed by the architect San Sovino. It's a 500 years old one, the main courthouse of Venice. Oh, this is the, the main, main courthouse of Venice. of Venice, all right. 500 years old. As are many of the buildings here on the Grand Canal. And I see the famous Rialto Bridge up ahead. Rialto was being built in only three years, between 1588 and 1591. There are 12 shops, 12 stores that were at the beginning being built on the bridge to build bigger Rialto street market area. So the Rialto bridge is the most photographed bridge in Venice, about 400 years old. And at one point it was the only bridge that crossed the Grand Canal. We are now turning to one of the smaller canals. Three kilometers, about 30 miles of a small narrow canal like this. They divide the same city of Venice into 118 small islands. Oh. Every time you cross a bridge, you pass from one of these islands to the other one. 422 bridges all together in the city, 422. Wow. By the way, I would not recommend going snorkeling in this water. <laughs> Hello, fellow gondola riders. Carlito! Veneti! Good morning! Okay, let me And you can see that each gondola has its own unique design. I like ours though, it's very royal feeling. Buongiorno. Hi, Manola. I think him yelling, that's like the horn. <laughs> this is an opera house. Opera? The original house of Marco Polo was destroyed by fire. Uh. Oh. You have to get a gondola with a gondola driver that explains you this. <laughs> <laughs> he was an explorer, a merchant, uh, mm -hmm. about 30 years of his life traveling yes. in Andesia. Also working as ambassador for Emperor China at that time. Uh -huh. So, channel to the other uh. YouTuber. How many kids do you have? Four. Four. Four children, wow. Oh, Four. So the television no more belongs to me. <laughs> <laughs> You're too young to have four children. Eh, gracias. <laughs> so uh, were you born and raised in Venice? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. At the moment, uh, all of us can do the drivers. 
Oh, okay. There's no restriction about this. So the test uh, to become gondola driver is right. open to everybody. Oh. At so, the moment, we are all from Venice because we are probably better drivers. Yeah. <laughs> but living here is the it's unique Venice. It's the only place where to practice the gondola is here. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's why we are the only one able to pass the driving test. Ah. Right side here it is Santa Maria dei Miracoli Church. Beautiful. Between 1481 and 1488, all marble decorated. Hmm. Wow. So, we always thought that the gondoliers oh, sing, but a lot of them don't sing, right? In Las Vegas. Yes, Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> the Venetian in Las Vegas. Been there many times, yes. <laughs> It's the tradition of the television, in the movies, yeah. uh, in the commercial. Uh, right. Maybe in the, I, I, I don't know, but uh, I suppose maybe in the past when they didn't talk uh, foreign languages, uh, mm. it was oh. easier to, s to sing, sing. Uh, <laughs> to stop uh, the, ca the question of, uh, of uh -huh. the customer. <laughs> yeah. So what I like, uh, as we are doing, uh, mm -hmm. is uh, to answer your question. Uh, I already pointed you something, but uh, it's nice. Uh, I, I really like uh, when people uh, are interested about the city and they ask me about what we see or what we don't understand here. Mm -hmm. Well, yes, so we... It's, it's another reality, totally another reality. Exactly. So this is the real Venice, the little side canals. Grazie. Grazie, signore. Grazie. We are talking about the ride on the way. Okay. He told me there's a gondola arriving. Uh huh. Opposite direction of me. Oh, okay. Yes, there it is. So far. Is, is this rush hour traffic? <laughs> no, 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 I always choose uh, the best for me to drive and uh -huh. the best for you as customer. So I always choose the canals uh, where there's not too much. Traffic. Yes, very nice. Italian, that the best architecture ever I've ever seen is Italian. <laughs> Italy, Venice. Oh my God, how in the world? I like to travel in the past, uh, visit Venice in general. Italy. Yes. Well, yesterday we went inside the um, St. Mark's Basilica, yes, sir. which is be gorgeous, beautiful. Yes. And then we went to the uh, Duge's Palace. Yeah. That was amazing. Yeah. Yes. Amazing. Beautiful. It's, uh, I always tell my customer that the, the Doge Palace is the best way to understand uh, about the history of Venice. Yeah. yeah. Because uh, Venice uh, was not uh, a big country. Hmm. It was a small one. They were never interested in the to conquer territories, to become wider. Mm -hmm. They just uh, were interested in to have best, the best commerce, the best money. Yes. Uh, but uh, the only way to understand this is visiting the Doge Palace. He was uh, just uh, uh, representing the Republic of Venice for four years. Four years, okay. Just representing, without power. The power of, of the city uh, was uh, was in the hand of the parliament of the Republic of Venice. Well, it's always been a republic, governed by the richest families of merchants having their own business here. And uh, so, always been the government deciding about everything. And the Doge was just representing the republic. Four years was elected inside the parliament between the richest families of merchants. The Republic of Venice lasted for more than 11 centuries. Wow. From 672, when they elected the first Doge, they founded the first government of Venice, till 1797, when Napoleon Bonaparte uh, conquered the city of Venice. He was the first able to conquer the city of Venice. Wow. Is there ever accident <laughs> in the gondola? Uh, happen yes. Well, yeah. For at least the gondola. Right. For like uh, one year, uh, sometimes two years. Uh, then, uh, then uh, we we start to do this job. Okay. Do you the, the city of Venice that rules everything about the gondolas and the gondola drivers. Do you have to buy any kind of insurance though in case of accident, like car insurance, ah, yes, like car yes, car insurance? Yes, yes, yes. Obviously, yes. Yes. And the the, the insurance. Uh, uh, 
guarantee us uh, just if we have the driving test. Okay. Hey, it's uh. Just people lives here. At the bottom floor, nobody. Nobody lives. lives. The bottom floor was everywhere being built as close as possible to the level of the water uh -huh. to easier pass from the boats to the houses or from the houses to the boats. Oh. Bottom floor was never been used for living because wet and too much close to the water. Always people prefer to live upstairs at the higher floors. Yeah. Okay. How high have the water levels been here? A normal high tide corresponds to the green mark you see in every part of the wall. The green six mark. hours level of the water rise up, six hours goes down. Okay. Difference is about two, three feet, mm -hmm. one meter between high and low tide. Okay. If you look on the right side mm -hmm. uh, after the bridge, uh, there's a, a wide, a small white brick. Mm -hmm. That yes. brick, Genio uh, Civile, corresponds to uh -huh. one meter over the average level of the sea. Okay. Uh, first of April at night, uh, reach one meter and thirty centimeters, so one foot higher than the that uh, brick. And the 40% of the city was underwater. Ciao, grazie. 40%? 40% of what? the city was underwater. What year, what year was that? Last month, oh. April. Oh, wow. Because, uh, because of the global warming, uh -huh. in Italy, oh. six, uh, the global warming, Italy, Europe, I don't know, United States, if uh, some say no. Yeah, we have some issues. Yeah. So, we, we noticed the difference uh, of the about the level of the tide then year uh, after year it's already 20 years i'm doing this uh, mm. uh, and you see it's one foot and a half higher minimum than oh. 20 years ago mm. so all these buildings are probably what four four or five hundred years old at least uh, yes at least at uh, four five hundred mm. years old numero de telefono simone cosa oh numero de telefono tu puoi torgio ti che si è scritto in tabea Vabbè, che c'è un numero di telefono, di una guida, di un lavoro prenotato, una roba del genere. What tower is that? Santi Apostoli Bell Tower. Every church in Venice, we have 108 churches. Mm -hmm. Every church has its own bell tower. Okay. Still uh, playing the hours and half an hour. <laughs> a lot of bells ringing. <laughs> yes, that's beautiful. When it's 12 o'clock, it's a concert. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That looks like the Grand Canal. And the ambulance mm, now oh. passing past. Uh, oh. Everything moved by boat in the city. Yes. So police, uh, firearms, ambulances, uh, oh. way to transport supplies and materials. Uh, no cars at all, no wheels, uh, just boats. Just boats. Approaching the Pissarro Palace, where we're staying. And next door is Adoro Museum. It's the first time I've ever been right next door to a museum, and unfortunately, we just didn't have the time to see the museum. But it's something I would do on my next trip to Venice. So, our gondola ride is coming to an end, but it's been very enjoyable. It's a great way to see Venice, especially some of the smaller canals. So from Venice, Arrivederci!